The first trials of vaccines designed to combat the spread of Ebola in West Africa are due by January, said a leading World Health Organization official on Tuesday. There are many ifs. First, at this point, we don't know if a vaccine are really safe and we don't know if they work. So far, there are no approved vaccines guarding against the deadly disease. Health authorities and drug makers worldwide have been racing to develop treatments for the infected and vaccines to protect more from falling ill. Johnson & Johnson, in partnership with Bavaria Nordic, said it would begin testing an Ebola virus vaccine in humans in January and could have 250,000 doses available by May. The J&J vaccine proved safe and protective against Ebola and monkeys, which is a strong indication it would work in humans too, said J&J Chief Scientific Officer Paul Stoffels. When we have the safety data, we will immediately have the product available for use, Dr. Stoffel said. Britain's GlaxoSmithKline has also developed an Ebola vaccine with the U.S. Institutes of Health and began initial human testing at the agency's facilities in Maryland. The vaccine is also in the first phase of testing in West Africa, a company spokeswoman said. The Public Health Agency of Canada has licensed an experimental Ebola vaccine to Iowa's New Lynx Genetics Corp. Clinical trials are underway to assess the vaccine's safety and appropriate dosage. If the vaccines work safely, the Glaxo and New Link vaccines could be authorized for use in healthcare workers early next year. Safety is not the only, the only issue. The, the very critical issue is the dose level. So we expect to have initial data, as I said, in, in December.